<laughs> okay, bonjour. We are here to talk about Hola, mental health. There's still and, stigma, but also yeah. what's ironic about it is that five percent. Um, mm-hmm. What's ironic about it is that everybody, in some shape or form, has some sort of trouble with calming the mind and mm-hmm. managing all the stresses that happen in life, and it's all on a spectrum. It's really at the end of the day about the support that you have and the willingness to talk about it. Yeah. Because the only way we're all going to have a dialogue together is for us to share our common experiences, which isn't easy. Mm-hmm. In terms of like mental health struggles, it's so important to recognize that that's such an important part of you and it can be used as a strength. So it's not something that you can just push away and try to like stop fully. What may may be perceived as a downfall or a problem as something that can be used to like share or connect with people or to understand others. Can you do this with your eyebrows is the question. You can do it with one. Everyone struggles with some form of um, anxiety sometimes or sadness and sometimes you're so far into it that you don't even recognize what the actual problem is it's about like taking away and pulling apart those cover-ups and getting to the bottom of like feeling whatever it is that you need to feel in order to let it go and move on now I find it more of a struggle raising both you see this one's stronger so this one's good I I trained this one it's very short attention span actually first of all on an individual basis if you're feeling negative or you're feeling anything that 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 you're uncomfortable with. It's really about allowing yourself to feel that and the fact that it's okay. Whatever comes up must come down again. Mm -hmm. And that's very difficult to see when you're heightened. But when it comes down, you're able to like look at that experience and be like, actually, I can cope with that. Mm -hmm. And it's about exposing yourself to the anxieties. As you can see. That's enough to scare anybody, Sarania. I was struggling to order a coffee and I got very flustered. The guy was super nice and he was like, oh, look, maybe it was this one that you got. And I got so flustered, I started sweating. I was like, oh my God, I need to get out of here. I thought everybody was looking at me. And then I went to the supermarket a day later. And before I went to the supermarket, I was like, I don't I don't really want to go. I'm too tired. But it was that I was afraid of that panic. But I was able to recognize, okay, there's something going on here. I'm not feeling in my body. I'm not feeling myself, but that's okay. And we just sat with it and not necessarily tried to come up with like a solution. Mm. It was more just, this is the reality and tomorrow's gonna be better. Living in that so that you can recognize it and move forward. Um, it's from, what movie is it? Um, what's the one where they go? <laughs> it's the Brad Pitt zombie one. <laughs> My way of coping with sadness or like kind of the harder emotions for a long time it's just been to like kind of like keep going move forward and not think about it or distract myself and then I realized um and of course it's still like work in progress so I've realized now that it is important to feel that sadness and anger and it's not a bad thing reaching out or talking to someone isn't a weakness but actually a measure of growth <laughs> that was a running joke for a while <laughs> See, Stefania notices that shit, and I'm like, <laughs> Brad Pitt's so hot. Um, also, it's difficult because we all are relational beings, so we mm. we compare ourselves to other people. So in terms of happiness, that's what usually happens. We mm-hmm. look at somebody that appears to be very happy, and you're like, why can't I feel this emotion? But the reality is, is that each of us have a different threshold about like how happy we can be in a day-to-day, you know, day in our day-to-day lives. So some people have a threshold here, others up here, others down there. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding yourself and tracking your uh, your happiness relative to what you usually feel. (laughs) I think everyone's hot. Some people smile at me at a store and I'll be like, he's so cute. Hey, if you're feeling down today, if you're feeling like shit, it's okay. If you feel like shit, it's good for you. And then when you feel happy again, you're gonna be like, wow so much better. I love this. Somebody was flirting with Giovanni at a store and I was like, I'm in love. I am in love. So I was like, well, exactly. Sit in it. Enjoy it. Relax. Embrace it. And we are. We are. We're, we're all, living our best lives. We're all trying. We're all just trying to get through. You were flirting with my sister the other day. It's my turn. <laughs> Police. Meet him. We have a 
um, a name. Owner's tap. I mean, 